guys, welcome back to Chocolate Covered Pages. I'm Kiona and today I am going to be doing my book review for The Hottest Summer Ever by Elijah R. Freeman. This book is about a girl named Kush who grows up as a spoiled daddy's girl. But one day her world gets turned upside down when he is brutally murdered in front of her. Left in the hands of her negligent mother, Kush is forced to commit murder to protect herself. She then gets sent to a detention center where she meets a guy named Red and together they form a little crew and start robbing drug dealers. Eventually their enemies begin to retaliate and as bodies start to drop left and right, Kush is trying to figure out who is a friend. Ooh. <laughs> Kush is trying to figure out who is friend and who is a foe. So first, I want to address the elephant in the room. I know that you're probably thinking this sounds exactly like The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Let me be the first to tell you that it's not. It's not. The only similarities is the title of the book is very similar, obviously. And Kush's mom is on drugs. Other than that, there's no other similarity between the two of them. Kush and Winter are very different, <laughs> very, very different characters. Matter of fact, I don't even think that they would be friends. I'm just, I'm just saying. So anyway, let's talk about Kush as a character. So Kush is a lesbian, right? Um, which I think is super dope because it brings an extra element to it. I feel like we don't get that we don't get that many lesbians in urban fiction at all. Like we like we just don't. You know, they might have a little, you know, two girls might have like a little rendezvous or whatever, but we don't really get like from a lesbian perspective. But what I will say is that she was written as a feminine lesbian, but when I was reading it, I was picturing her as more of a stud <laughs> because she was giving me rough, hardcore. I just could not imagine her just rocking heels and some tight fitted jeans. Like it just, I, I'm sorry, like I, I couldn't picture that in my mind. And I don't know if it's because the author, I know the author is a guy, I don't know, but I was had to keep reminding myself that this is a feminine female. All right, this earring is disrespectful, so we'll just take this one out. Anyway, back to her being a lesbian. So we got some lesbian sex, right? Um, we also got to see how she approaches women. I mean, Kush had Kush had some game, you know, and, and from my understanding, you know, she was attractive, so women were coming on to her. And then also, we got to see how other, how dudes responded to her taking their chicks. And I thought that that was so funny, and it was definitely dope to see, because normally in urban fiction, and you following a female character, okay, yeah, she's the baddest bitch, and all the dudes want her, and blah, 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 like, this was coming with something different and I really like that part of it. So we know from the beginning that Kush has been dealt such a bad hand at life. But what I like about Kush is that she doesn't allow these setbacks to just lay her out. Like she's like, you know what? All right, what can I do next? You know, my mom is messed up. So now I'm in this detention center and I don't even have a home to go to go to. So now she has to go stay in a group home. She makes the best of that situation. You know, it, it is what it is. I, that was kind of what I was getting from Kush. It's like, you know what? I miss my father, but it is what it is. This is my life and I just have to, you know, get in when I, where I fit in. And that's exactly what she did by hooking up with Red. Like, okay, you know what? What can we do to get some money in our pockets? You know, I mean, not to say that what she did was the right thing to do, but, you know, I love that she really lived by street code, which is no snitching. 
no snitching everybody knows ain't no snitching and i like that when it was time to put work in and bust her gun she did what she had to do she never pretended to be like some hardcore gangster and she wasn't you know but these were the this is the hand that she was dealt and at the end of the day it's either me or you and that's what i was getting from kush and i like that really made me uh, respect her as a character um the only thing i would say in this book that felt a little bit flat to me was the sex <laughs> like i just felt like i didn't feel like the sex was super believable if if, if i could say that like i felt like like it felt like i was reading a book with sex Typically when I like to when I read a sex scene, I can transport myself to possibly like being the person and stuff like that. But I didn't feel that when I was reading these sex scenes. Maybe because I was expecting them to be a little bit more graphic, but you know, that could also just be a personal preference of mine. But I just want to definitely let you know that. I also want to let you know that there's trigger warnings in this book for rape. So definitely um, let you know that before going into it. I also felt like um, throughout the book, like it was constantly fast paced. Like it was constantly. Um, and that is, if you're an urban fiction reader like me, that is what we look for. We looking for a good sex. We're looking for fast pace. We're looking for bodies dropping. Like <laughs> we looking for... Um, sneaky shit happening behind somebody else back we are looking for all the things all the drama and i feel like all of those things minus the sex you could definitely find in this book um you never know who was gonna still be alive by the time you turn to the next page you know because when 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 the enemy started finding out man it started to it started to, to it really got hot and if you live in the hood you know that in the hood in the summertime that's when it gets really crazy in these streets so i think that this was a perfect title for this book it's also really short like as you can see it's only 200 pages and that is another thing that we love in the summertime fast paced short because it's gonna it's definitely going to keep your attention that is one thing that this book is not and that is a boring so you would definitely have some thoughts after reading it i definitely picked up on one of the plot twists fairly early on but it didn't ruin the rest of the book for me like there are so many plot twists in this book that you just can't even keep up. I know I couldn't. And I'm usually pretty good at picking up on um, little nuances. Like, you know what? I think this person is really this person or whatever. Like, I think the author did a really good job at keeping the reader guessing. For sure. So, I would say that this is definitely urban fiction, but it's very much a thriller. If you are just a thriller lover, definitely you will want to pick this one up. And also for Kush, like, her as a character, I was just reading the book and I just kept thinking, oh, can this be her last robbery? Like, can this just be her last? Like, I wanted her to be good. Like, I just wanted her to just do one last thing and then it be, uh, you know, big enough to where she could just stop and just be good. Get her own little spot, you know, chilling out or whatever. And then she don't have to, like, keep, you know, keep looking over her shoulder constantly. But, you know, those aren't good books, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I could definitely see why the author would have her, like, keep getting to the bag as much as possible. Especially growing up the way she did, where, you know, her father has been taken from her. And now it's like, she don't have no way to put money in her pocket. So I, um, I definitely did appreciate that. The author kept, you know, he, 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 he kept this in tune. He kept this into the story. And the way this one ends, you definitely know that there has to be a Hottest Summer Ever number two coming. 
I'm not gonna say that we're on a cliffhanger because I do like that we do get some answers like I don't like books that just leave me just straight up hanging we do definitely get some answers on uh, plenty of things but there's some characters that I would love to read their point of view as well I won't say the names because I don't want to spoil anything but yeah there's some other interesting characters in this book as well and I really cannot wait for book number two. So if any of these things sound interesting to you and you want to pick this book up, I will have the link down in my description box. And it is also available on Amazon Kindle Unlimited if you are a member there. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!